I personally love this flow, okay? And it's one of my favorite and I really, I'm sure you're gonna enjoy it too. So the setup is with a short box, okay? And a blue spring and the foot bar all the way down. And we're gonna go up in here. It's an advanced class or at least intermediate towards advanced. I'm actually leaving the box here just because, um, just for the client to feel a little more safe. Actually, if they lose balance, they can actually hold on the box, which is a little bit higher than all the way down. But it can be done without the box too, okay? Here we go, so we're gonna step on the platform Obviously on the part that doesn't move first, we have a blue spring, I don't know if I already said that, a blue spring, and then the other leg. And then we're gonna play, uh, turn the foot towards the mirror, and you're going to have your back foot on the platform and the right foot on the carriage. And I call this one the runner's stretch right now because it's the basic stretch that every runner should do, right? After they run, a little bit stretch here on the hip flexor and then coming back up on the hamstring. And here we go. So in class, I typically, I, I typically do about five to eight, but today I think I'm gonna only do three each, so Actually four, let's do four each. So as you see, I cue, the, I, I cue the client to go really low here on the hip flexor. And then as they come back up, I tell them to keep the chest really close to the thigh. And I did a little bit more than four I know here, but I wanna let you know that I also teach this one in our levels class. And I tell the clients to just move forward if they feel like they can, otherwise they can keep repeating. Then I do less reps, maybe like four each of the flow, so they can keep repeating the, the exercise they did before, okay? Starting by, that, by this one, that's the most basic. So just like in a yoga class, when they say, oh, if it's available to you, you can move forward. So that's how I do in those classes too. So then the next progression, so it's like a progression, right? So the next progression would be teaching the client to take the arm off. So I have them keep the hip down in here, lift one arm up front and then down, and then lift the hip back up. And then again, the other arm up and then down and then the hip up. So that would be the second progression, quite safe. Also, obviously I would be cueing them to keep their weight on their core, not on your hands, and maybe even cue them to just keep their fingertips on the carriage. That way is also a little more of a progression. The third progression would be lifting the arm as they come down like this. So this would be a little more advanced because you're lifting one arm in a moving platform, which is a, a, a higher progression, right? So that would be the third. And then the fourth progression, I would tell them to stabilize the carriage again and lift up, down, and then lift the hip. Again, lifting both arms, right? Up, down, and then lifting the hip. And then, as you may imagine, we're gonna try to, that, to do that as the platform moves. So I start from the bottom and I tell them the last one is coming up with the arms. So this one obviously for just a more advanced client. So if your A levels class doesn't have that many advanced clients, I wouldn't even go to this one. See, even I am wobbling a little bit because that one is my goofy leg. So that is it. And then we can go and go to a point where you don't even use your hands at all. So you just go down and up for four and three and two and one. 
And then, because at least, I don't know about you, but on my classes, clients are usually very sensitive on the wrists. So I add, I try to put the planks, but not a lot exercise on the planks because they can't really handle. So I go to a, uh, these planks can be done in so many ways, but I'm gonna do the, f the one on the oblique. So we're gonna turn the toes towards the front door and the chest is going to be facing the floor. So they're just gonna go to a plank. When they look at the mirror, I would like them to align their shoulders and then pike up and plank and pike up. So again, lots of clients who are not gonna be able to do too many, so on this one I don't do too many reps, usually like five. So from here, the second one would be bending the knee and extending, keeping the hip and the chest on the same level. This one really feels on the obliques, it's amazing, okay? And then after this one, guys, I have them stay here, push out and in the carriage. And they are really, really, really feel it. And it's amazing. And then come back. And then we repeat everything on the other leg, on the other side, which we're gonna do right now. So, now the right leg is on the carriage, left leg on the platform. And again, start, you know, usually I tell them to put the hands on the, on the box first and then move the leg. And again, if they're more advanced a little bit, I already have them go on their fingertips. The runners is stretched, so as low as possible here. Then lift the tail up towards the ceiling, chest really close to the thigh. Here we go. <sighs> Breathing the whole time, of course. I know I did a lot of this one in the beginning because I was explaining to you guys, but again, typically it's five to eight, so I'm gonna move on. So the next progression would be having them stabilize the carriage, lift one arm up, back, lift the hip. Then again, the other arm up, back down. This is an amazing exercise, obviously, helps the client feel confident, stretches, of course, right? And, and confident, start getting familiar with this change, right? Where the body is going, the center of gravity here. And now we're gonna go to the third progression, which is lifting the hip as we bend again. We're gonna take the arm as the carriage moves. One. Two, three, and four. And then we can move on on the fourth progression. I believe it's four here. Stabilizing the carriage because now it's both arms up and it's very difficult for the clients if they're intermediate, you know, depending on their level can be very difficult. So this is already very challenging. And then if they're a little bit more advanced, we're gonna move next to the carriage moving and then lifting the arm. So we're going to that one right now. So here we go, up and then down. Up and then down. Up and down. Up. We're gonna move on with the last progression. And three. And four. Yeah! And now we're gonna go to the oblique splanks again. So you turn the heels to the, to the side, to, to turn the toes to the opposite side that you did before, and the pikes. Pike to a plank, and pike up. Remember to push back, cue your clients to push back by really piking up, lifting that hip up, and 
starting obviously with the abs. Okay, so we're gonna do one more here. And now the knee bends in and out. The chest and the hip stays on the same level. Two, inhale and exhale, three. And one more, and then staying here, pushing out and in. One, and two, and three, and four. And then coming back up. All right, guys, from here, we're gonna change these springs to go for these skaters. So you're gonna step from the back, uh, put a red spring in here, take the blue off, Again, the box can or doesn't need to be here, but you know, it gives the client a little more um, security, right? As for safety. Um, so stepping on the platform and then the other leg, we're putting the legs really at the edge of the platform. Make sure that the legs are, the feet is all, uh, are aligned, right? So it's not in front or in the back, right? Perfectly aligned and very at the edge of the carriage and the platform. So I like to start by an overall posture overview, remind the clients to keep the head up towards the ceiling, you know, abs tight. I give some abductors here just so they get a, an idea of the resistance. Uh, how does it, what does it take? Uh, soft knees, of course, not bent, but soft, so you're not locking your knee here. And reminding the client that every time they come back, they're coming back not because of the springs, but because they're reaching up towards the ceiling, the top of their head, right? Align ear, shoulder and hip, shoulders leveled, uh, and sharing the weight of the body. The body is right in the middle right here. So after I go over all these cues, I tell them to stay a little bit with the carriage, a little bit outer than, um, uh, with a little bit tension outer than the hip width, and keep tracking the knee with the second toe, and we're gonna go down for a squat, trying to not move that carriage as much as possible. Even I will move, but I'll try, it's hard, it's hard. So here we go. Down, 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 down. I tell them to do, go down for four and then up for four. I do that so I can start cueing them slowly to keep the knee aligned to the second toe, to go as low as the hip aligns with the knee, and then to initiate the movement with the glutes, go all the way up, lengthening, clenching at the end. And again, so knees aligned to the second toe, inhale here, is squeeze the glute, activate, go up nice and tall, head reach up towards the ceiling at the same time, you clench here, abs tied. Next, again, you keep going like this. Also, you want to cue them to go as low as they can go. And then when they are down here, for them to keep the knee behind the toe. Some of them is going to tell me they can't. Then you tell them to just push their butt out a little more, lengthening through the crawl of the head and, and, and the tail in opposition like this, and tell them to try to keep their uh, uh, shoulders aligned to the hip height, squeezing the glutes coming back up. So I do just about five, just so they learn the form, and then I tell them to stay on that position, knees behind the toe, aligned to the second toe, hip is kind of uh, almost on the knee level, if it's possible and also head aligns to the hip level if it's possible because you want to target the glutes this is going to be a glutes work if you're standing up then you're going to do more abductors i mean glutes is also an abductor but you know what i mean it will take more the legs and this angle here really is so effective for the under booty and then we're starting pushing the carriage away for you know in the class i may do like 10 but here i'm just going to do five three Four. See, the weight of the body stays right in the middle. And five. And now we're going to push the platform, which is a little more uh, precarious because you're moving your body. And again, the, the center of the body is still in the middle. is not on that leg, neither in this one is right in the middle here. And we're doing three more. And you have to try to keep that... Uh, 
leaning forward position to really get the glutes again reaching the tail out in the heading up position and then after this I give the skaters we push the platform then the carriage moving in and in see what I mean platform carriage and move in and in platform carriage in and in push platform carriage I only did four we're gonna reverse carriage platform in in carriage platform in two two more carriage platform in three last one keep leaning forward abs tied and in and in and then coming back up I'll tell you <laughs> this is so effective Whew, let's go to the other side stepping from the back don't let your clients step forward I'm sure you always heard that the knee over the toe is not very good angle for your knee so imagine at this height it's a lot of body weight against gravity going in a bad angle so you don't want them to step forward okay stepping backwards and and that's the best way to go so let's keep going okay so go ahead and rewind your video right now and repeat everything on the other side. See you soon. From here, we're gonna go for some Pilates burpees. And I love that one, it's, it's tough, but it's really fun. So we're gonna change these springs, we're gonna put a blue in here and lift the foot bar to the regular angle. We're gonna step up on the machine, very carefully as usual put your feet against the box okay and you're gonna um, you can start seated if you want I think it's a little harder but yeah you want to go like this your heels against again just so you know this one is advanced okay just making sure we have that cl clarified um, but you're going to have to have a lot of strength here and it's called CC squat in the fitness world. So you're going to go on your toes like this, extend your arm all the way up, which is, would be the jumping part on the burpee, right? And then you're going to come back in, then extend the leg to a plank, go for the push up, extend, bend the knee, balance and up. Burpee, let's go. All right, so five of these. Extend, bend, extend, bend. Burpee one. Here we go. Down, extend for a plank, bend, extend, knee in. Burpee two. Down, extend, push up, bend, up. Burpee three down push push up extend bend the knee burpee four last one guys bend extend push up and bend the knee and burpee five there's the pur burpee from here you can add a little more um a little more challenging one you can you know do some uh, single leg uh, planks maybe add some arabesque in here or I will just do a little knee in and up <sighs> like this okay extend the leg out bring the bottom leg as close to you as possible I'm just gonna do one more I'm getting a little tired and then switching leg so bottom leg against the, the box leg goes up in the arabesque bring the knee in extend one and in extend two in and three just one more here we go and four yeah yeah and stepping back carefully so from here we're going to do take the box 
putting the box in a long box a little bit here. Do some uh, extension of the spine, if you will. And this is one uh, I really, really love right now. I'm gonna do just a very light spring, okay? Um, it's very simple. I have a lot of arthritis on my lower back, so I have to be careful with extensions, and this one is really helping me to open up this area. Let's see what you feel about. Make sure that the box is right in the middle right here. We're gonna lean on the box like this. And you're gonna reach out for the frames of the carriage. Start relaxing in here. And then we're gonna push here, lifting eyes, head and chest, and then down. So it's a very mild back extension, which it's totally appropriate to me, for me. Okay? And two. So I also like to cue for clients to keep pushing the pubic bone against the, the, ca the box. And three, one more. And four. The next, I like to push back, sit on my, on my heels a little bit right there. Ooh. And, and this is the end of the class. I hope you have enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye.